Ooh, Dr. Sonia, I am so happy to have you with me. I know before we started uh, recording, you were saying that you have been waiting for a few years to get in and do some of this stuff with me. And so I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for coming. Would you please tell everyone a little bit about who you are, what you do, and what's your coaching program? Okay, who I am. I am Dr. Sonia Wright. I am a pediatric radiologist by practice. <laughs> if we talk about the medical side of things, I am a sexual counselor. I am a life coach. I am trained at the same institution that you are trained at, the Life Coach School. And I have worked in a sex toy store. So I bring all that fun stuff together. And I am the midlife sex coach for women. And we, I help women create the sex lives of their dreams, basically. I figure out what's going on in their head and what do they need to figure uh, to shift around in terms of their thoughts and uh, their belief systems uh, to get it on. <laughs> Well, okay. And I just love, like, I've been a, a secret and public admirer for you, of you for years, especially since you were on a podcast. And I was like, you just make talking about sex not scary, not faux pas, not like, is not a gross thing. It just, it's, it, it seems like, at least when I hear you, it can be normal and fun and you're very soothing. It kind of remind me of Dr. Ruth a little bit, which is kind of cool. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm friends with Dr. Sonia. And so <laughs> tell us a little bit about, cause you, you brought, you bring all of that together to help women have the sex life of their dreams. But tell me a little bit about your coaching program. Sure. So I have, uh, I do individual private coaching, but I also do group pro coaching. So my group coaching program is called Old Near Sexuality Now. And it's actually been going through a transition of itself at this point in time. So um, most of the time I do it as kind of a webinar style. And then I also will do it as an it, what I call OYSN intimate. And that's more of a meeting style. And I love, I love both of them, but the meeting style is like, I really love it because I'm connecting and I'm talking with the women. I really get to coach them face to face and, and we get the work done. But I also see the community that the connection between the other members of the group together. And so I'm supporting and coaching, but they're also supporting the client, the other person that's being coached. And they're recognizing that this really is a community. Everybody is dealing with something and, and that they're not alone. It's not an isolated thing. And, and you're right when we talk about excuse me, sex and sexual intimacy, very often, it feels like you're all alone. And so with this group, I wanted to make sure people no longer felt alone, like they could go to a place and they could feel comfortable talking about whatever was bothering them. And maybe at the beginning, it feels a little hard to mention it, but then you realize that these women are experiencing similar issues. And, uh, and you get so much support and love from each other that you you get to grow together and solve whatever issues are going on. I love the group, it's so good. And I love hearing you talk about it like that because you and I, we, we're friends too. So we get to talk behind the scenes all the time. And, and I got the sense at one point in time that you just weren't loving the, the format that you were doing, the webinar style where you couldn't see the people, they couldn't see you, they couldn't interact with each other really. And so you had been launching your program on your sexuality for a while before we started working together more formally. So can you tell me a little bit more about what your launches were like before we started working together, what the program was like, and you started talking about it. Like how, how did it feel before and how did you run run your program tell us all the things and your launch in particular so uh just to be clear so how did it feel like launching previously versus now mm -hmm. okay all righty so um really Tamana, you, you saved me when it comes to launches i can't even tell you how many times i like started to launch and then i stopped i did not like launching at all i had a lot of thoughts and ideas about them and they were not good <laughs> like what well, that, that it was going to take. So what happened the first time I launched, uh, I launched for about a month and it was pretty intense. I did consultations. I was working full time still as a radiologist and I did consultations in the morning before work and afternoon at night, like weekends, 
whenever I could. And so, uh, and these were hour long consultations uh, to talk to people and to get them to feel connected to me so that they would come into the program. And uh, it was successful. I was able to launch and to do well on my launches, but it also took everything I had. Like there was no breathing. There's no downtime. There's, it was, uh, I, there wasn't a lot of joy and fun in the process. And so I was like, I'm just not going to do this anymore <laughs> unless I could figure out how to have joy and fun with it. And so um, I was listening to, uh, we are friends, but I also listened to what you put out there. And I was like, yeah, this is kind of what I need. I need Tavana to help me. So I reached out to you and I was like, Tavana, uh, I, I need one of those intensives. <laughs> Yeah, because I, mean, I don't I, I have lunch trauma going on and drama and like all sorts of stuff and I don't want to do it anymore. And so I even had like demi launches, which were like launches where I would start and then I would just stop because I was like, I can't do this. Yeah. So so good. But let's be clear though, your quote unquote demi launches still brought in multiple five figures. So I just yes. want to put that out there. Yes. You you were doing the darn thing. Yeah. Even though they but I was miserable it. at it. Right. And so right. Uh, I just needed to figure out how to do it a different way, but I didn't know how to do it a different way. And, uh, you know, you're able to help me see it a different way and have different thoughts about it, but also to approach it um, from a place of calm and, and it did not have to be perfect. Right. And so it just was a big difference. Yeah. Well, was there anything in particular that when you did reach out that you wanted to address? Like, what were your thoughts? Like, okay, I'm going to work with Tavana and she's going to help me do this. Um, anxiety, you know, uh, anxious. I have an anxious mind. I'll be the first one to admit it. And so for me, I just, my main thing was like, I am not doing these launches anymore, unless I could figure out how to make it fun or how to make it not so anxious. That's all I want. I just need to figure out how to approach this. And for me, I'm, I kind of get overwhelmed when there's so many different things that need to be done. And even though with each launch, I added to my toolbox, I had more toolbox, I had more, I had more copy done, I had more webinars done, you know, I had all the things, but in my mind, each time I was doing a launch, I was going back to the start, like the beginning where I had nothing. And so you were helpful in showing me that I had all the tools. I had the tools in the toolbox, right? And that I wasn't starting from zero again. So um, that was definitely important, but just approaching it from a place where I could have some fun with it and not be so stressed out. And it did not have to be perfect. Yeah, it's interesting. Like my mind is going wild with all of the things that I that I remember about us working together. Where like you were telling me you had at one point hired a marketing company, and at least my perception of what what you were saying was like every time they kept asking you for more and more emails. Yeah, it just so never. You stopped. were just like and like it was always starting all right over again, you know. So I was exhausted with working with that marketing company because it was like we wouldn't use some of the other stuff that we had created before. We had to start all over with new copy. Everything had to be brand new. And so it was, yeah, it was like every launch was starting right from the, you know, from having nothing. So that was my concept of how you launch. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was funny because the very first thing I sent you was, let's, let's look at what you have and just give, give me what you have and let's use a lot of that, if not all of it, right? So- um, what kind of fears or concerns did you have about launching again or doing this work with me? Like, you know, when you've touched the, the hot stove and you just get to the point where you don't even want to touch it. Like I really, like I knew I needed to launch, but I didn't want to launch. I was just like, it's not going to work. <laughs> I don't want to even do this. It's going to be painful. So I had a lot of thoughts that it was going to be painful. I wasn't going to enjoy it. I was, and like, in some ways, um, I had attitude too. <laughs> it was like, I don't really want to do this. You know? And like, you try, like I hire you to help me launch, but then I got attitude that I don't want to launch. Right. <laughs> Like right, it's too, a teenager, right? <laughs> no, it was too funny when I do get to see because sometimes we would just coach on the phone, and when I would get to see you on Zoom, I was like, "Oh, <laughs> she got her face cocked." Okay, <laughs> I was like, whatever. I let the eyes roll, and I'm like, "All right, Tavana." 
<laughs> but that, that's funny. So I mean, with that, like, what was your, like, okay, so maybe you had a little bit of attitude, you had touched the stove, blah, 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 but like, what was your experience like of us working together, even though you had the attitude, like, did anything surprise you? About oh, that it was so easy, honestly, and that it, and there was so much compassion uh, from you that made a huge difference. It like healed a lot of the wounds, you know, it really healed a lot of the stuff that was there around launching. And then I saw that it didn't have to be perfect. And I love, love, love my intimate group and the women that uh, signed up that is so good. I just can't even tell you how happy I am that I did this. Uh, and it wouldn't be possible if I didn't reach out to you and say, hey, can you help me with this? Yeah, and I am just so, like, I still, I'm about to do it again, but like, I tear up when I think about you saying like, hey, I'm, I'm not going to do this anymore. And I know, like, I, the way I think about your work is your work saves marriages in some cases. And so I'm like, no, Sonia, like people are so afraid of sex and so afraid of talking about, and it's a, a major part of some relationships. And I'm like, no, Sonia's work saves marriages. And I just thank you so much for trusting me with, with this because it, like you said, that seeing stuff heal and like it could be fun and you could do it your way and could you share a little bit about like your because there were two things that I remember in particular that you wanted to change that were completely different from how you had done your program and how you had launched before one was you said you weren't going to do a webinar you just wanted to do emails and the other was exactly what you were talking about you wanted to be able to see the people on camera and I'm curious to hear your your thoughts but you, what was it like for you to say, I really want to create this container where we talk about sex and people have their cameras on? Yeah, well, in order to create that container, I had to change my thoughts that I had that nobody wanted to be on camera talking about sex, right? So I had um, done it the other way, which was webinar style. And, um, and I think because it was webinar style, in some ways, I attracted the people that didn't want to talk at all. Right. Whereas when I changed it over to more meeting style, I was very clear, you know, when I wrote my copy and said, I'm looking for committed women that are all in and want to do this work and, you know, want a community in which to explore and do this work and are looking for connection. And um, so those, those are the, that's what I focused on. Uh, and I really spent time like visualizing what it would look like to be an intimate and what it would look like and how we could have that connection and how we could have that, that um, joy and the fun that's there and, um, and do the work at the same time. And it's, it's even better than I ever imagined it could be, you know? And so that, that is so fabulous. Was that scary for you to say, uh, to make that big change to your program? It was because I had to be all in and I had to be committed that like, what if only one or two people wanted to sign up for it, right? What if um, people were like, no, I don't want to be on camera. I just want to be behind the scenes and I, I want to sit there and watch the webinar. Uh, and I don't want to, you know, webinar style. I don't want to um, interact with other people. And mm -hmm. so for me to be like, okay, I'm going to shift this up. And I recognize that I might not have tons of people in it, but I also, I wanted it to be a different style because usually my other groups have about 40 to 50 people in it. I really wanted it to be less than that. I wanted it to be about 20 people um, because I wanted, I liked the intimate nature of it where we could get to know each other's names. And we have so much fun. Like if, if, like if my name, my real name is Sonia, then you go in there and you like, you have your sexy name. So maybe I'd call myself afternoon delight right and but I'd also have my other name there so I can learn whose people's names are and stuff like that but it's it's been fun to have people choosing their um their fun sexy name and people are like calling themselves velvet velvet love and stuff like oh that and I'm like okay <laughs> all right let's do this you know what I thought about I thought about um Eddie Murphy and sexual chocolate as soon as you said your sexy name I'm like sexual chocolate sexual chocolate <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
mean, I think that, but it, that's, that was part of the, the having fun and doing it your way. And so it's like, sometimes I find that people don't want to launch because they don't want to deliver the thing that they're launching. If, mm -hmm. if we're being yeah. honest about it. And yeah. then you ended up, you were saying like, you just had to own that. Okay. If there are only one or two people, can I be okay with that? And you have way more than one or two people. So how many people are, are on your calls now and in, in this container, if you don't mind? Yeah, sharing. there's 25 people in this container, which is just about what I wanted. And um, yeah, some can come, some can't make it live and that's okay. But um, most people can make it live and that is so good. And it's really just, and I love coaching, but I can also see um, other people's reactions and how they're into the coaching that other people are getting and, and how it's making a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. And we made one other big change too, talking about like, sometimes people don't want to launch because they don't want to deliver it because you were making your calls after work and on yeah. Saturdays and all of this stuff, even though you are not doing um, radiology full time anymore. And I was just like, what, why does it have to be at night? <laughs> why can't you do yeah. it while your daughter's at school? Yeah, that for me was like a big thing that I could do it. Like, because the way I had set up the previous groups, I was doing it at, starting at eight at night. So I was already exhausted by that time. And then a lot of people were not necessarily coaching. Uh, so I was talking a lot. So that was making me really, you know, tired. They were getting coaching, but uh, in the chat, not like coming on and coaching. And so it was a lot of me talking and starting at eight when I'm pretty tired. I was away from my daughter, which I wanted to spend more time with her. And, uh, but I had it in my mind that people want to talk about sex at night. So I had to be willing to change my ideas, right? And be like, yes, people will show up for coaching in the middle of the day, right? And it's like, oh, and then I had sorted out where like Wednesday I was doing coaching, but also I ended up doing coaching on the weekends on Saturday. Sunday as well. And it was getting to be a lot. So I had to be like, okay, we're going to scale some of this back and we're going to provide the services in a different way and make sure that, um, that I have a life as well. Cause it was getting to the point where I had all different, you know, coaching calls. I was doing different coaching, either private or group, like four days a week plus Sunday. So five. And I had only just, um, given myself like Fridays off, which then became my big administration day. And, and so I was handling, I, so I really wasn't getting much of a break. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's another reason why I was kind of tired and exhausted as well. So to actually during the launch to look and see, and I loved how you helped me with this, help me see how I want my business to be uh, while I'm launching so I can create it at a certain time. That was really, that was good. Yeah, because I mean, that's so, so important. It's really the first thing that I look at with people is like your time and how do you want your life to look and how do you want your launch to look? And it was interesting. You were talking about your butt went to Vegas in the middle of your launch. <laughs> it did. <laughs> I love it. I love it, it just to have this space. And yes. Uh, he was to have this 40, space. Like, Who, oh, <laughs> okay now. She turned for Okay. But, but to have the space and the time and the means to do that. Yeah. And so that, that's why I'm like, I love this work so, so much. And so I think the one other thing that really stood out for me, and I'm just like, every time I hear you tell the numbers, they like get bigger and bigger. It's like, oh my gosh, more and more people signed up. And you were like, yeah, I want to do this launch and I don't feel like doing a webinar. Yeah. And I was like, okay, so let's design it around that. And you did 25 people. That's freaking amazing. So I'm yeah. so, I'm so proud of you and I'm so happy for you. And I'm so like, so excited for you and your people. Cause I know they're loving it. And I love hearing the praise reports afterwards. You're like, I just love my group and all of that. So the energy is what I, I love seeing in you. Um, so question, who, who do you think would benefit most from this kind of support? And like, what would you say to somebody who might be on the fence if they're looking at getting some coaching or? Oh my goodness, like uh, in terms of uh, the support from you and your what yeah. you provide, yeah. Like, I can't imagine anybody that wouldn't benefit from this, honestly. Uh, <laughs> but I think definitely people that have launched trauma <laughs> and drama, I think are the ones, the ones that have... <laughs> have PTSD, you know, for the launch, um, so that it can be redefined and you can do it in a different way. Right. I think that that's important because I was very clear. 
I was like, yeah, I don't even know if I want to launch and if I'm going to launch. It, I so had attitude. I really had a lot of, I was like, if I get a launch, this is what I'm willing to do. And this is what I'm not willing to do. And then in the middle of it, I kind of was like tanking and you're like, hello, how are we doing? <laughs> you know? And I was like, okay, I'll start to, you know, send out more emails again. Uh, so yeah, definitely. It was just key um, having you there and, um, and having your support. And honestly, like the thing about you that's really fantastic, Tavana, is like you know how to do a launch, right? So you have the skills about how to do a launch and how to support somebody when they're doing a launch, whatever their launch looks like. But more importantly, is that you can help with the mindset, right? And all the thoughts that are going through the person's mind that, that they have to deal with their thoughts in order to take action. And so when I was in that place where my thoughts were like, yeah, no, this isn't going to, you know, this isn't going to happen, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you were just like, hey, let's get on a call. Let's let's figure this out. And I'd be like, I don't want to get on no damn call. And you're like, just get on the call. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I love you too. Come on, let's talk. You know, because <laughs> I, I think, thank you for highlighting that because that's one of the things that I, I just noticed like in the middle of a launch, that's when people start to, to spaz out, stall out, spin out, freak out, all of those things. And like, I love working in this way very closely and intensely with people because I'm there and I'm paying attention, you know, and I'm like, okay, haven't heard from Sonia. I'm on your list. Haven't seen something, you know, like, let's talk about it. Like you don't have to do it at all. You know, it's all about love and compassion and you get to do, you get to do it. Mm -hmm. um, but let's just have a chat about it because we came up with this plan and you wanted to do it. You know what I mean? Right, so right. I love that so much. Yeah. Thank you. Good. So Thank, much. you. Thank you. Yeah. I, honestly, you're the reason why intimate is here and functioning because like if I didn't launch it, you know, I'd have this great idea and I wouldn't have a group. Right. Uh, yeah. but because you're able to help me see that there's a different way to launch and you can help me like, uh, heal the trauma and the stress and the anxiety around it that I was able to launch. And, and I have such a fabulous group. Yes. Oh, Thank you so much, Sonia. And so if you are ready to transform your launch, I encourage you to go to tavanadenise.com forward slash momentum. And let's talk about your launches and what you can do to make them more fun and less stressful and more successful. That's Tavana Denise, T-A-V as in Victor, O-N-A, Denise, D-E-N-I-S-E.com forward slash momentum. Thank you, Sonia.